Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm Blitz5, back with another Battlefield 1 video, and this one is pretty interesting because Battlefield has announced that they're coming out with the community test environment, aka CTE, for the game. And this is a pretty big deal because Battlefield is showing that it's in this game for the long haul. It's ready to support this game for a really long time by having this environment. If you're not familiar with what this is, this is basically like a beta test environment. A lot of games have this. For example, I'm very familiar with this with League of Legends because I am in the beta environment, the beta testing environment for League of Legends, and it's where they put in the updates for the game so people can test them, give their feedback before they get rolled out into the game. So this means that they're taking updates seriously. They're trying to prolong the community, get everybody involved, and uh, like I said, I'm super excited about it. And if you're playing Battlefield, you should be too, because this is really awesome for the game. One thing that I'm not familiar with, though, is that I haven't played Battlefield on the PC in a really long time. And apparently this has been on Battlefield on the PC in other games in the past. I only played Battlefield, I think, like three or four or whatever on the PC for a little bit of time. So, like I said, I'm not familiar with it. I'm not usually a PC gamer unless it comes to like League of Legends. So, I don't have experience with this, but it's going to be rolled out on PC first for the Battlefield for EA games, and then it's coming to Xbox and PlayStation. So, I don't know. I'm just excited about this because like I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm going to be playing Battlefield for a long time. I bought the Premium Pass, which is the first time I've bought a Premium Pass in a long time, and it shows that they're actually going to be sticking around with the game, and that if you buy a Premium Pass, they're actually going to be people playing and all the support. I know I keep saying that, but this is a huge deal, because a lot of times you'll see that when these companies, especially EA Games, they've done this in the past, you buy a Premium Pass, and like the content just kind of like dims out, and I, I forget if they even, nobody even knows if they actually release anything. I feel like and it kind of just dies out so we know that this stuff is actually happening so let's get into it so basically i explained what the cte is i'm reading the website here i think that's all the information that you guys need to know i said that the pc is the first one to get it right now if you're on pc you can register for it there's in the link here i'll include that in the description box below or you can just google it yourself and also it seems that if you have a premium pass you will also be prioritized in the selection process of becoming a cte tester if you want to do that and be a beta tester you can normally it's like a different game so sometimes people don't want to be testers and other people are interested in doing that stuff um, a lot of times a lot of youtubers do it because then they post videos on all the changes so what i want to talk about is let's let's talk about like what's coming so far so i saw this on the I had to actually go to Reddit to find this patch. It's funny because they're actually posting stuff on like Reddit first. It literally said, follow the, I went to the official website for the community test environment. It said like, go to our registration page and it brought you to the Reddit community test environment. So the Reddit page for CTE to sign up for the environment. So I think that's kind of funny that they're using Reddit, but also kind of cool that they're using it as like their platform. So this seems to be the only official location where they posted the actual updates for the CTE. And obviously this patch is going to be on PC first and probably a lot of this stuff won't come to console, but it kind of gives us an idea what's going to be coming to the consoles, no matter you know what system you play on, you'll be benefiting from this a little bit. So I'm just going to go over the high level stuff. So they're coming out with ribbons, which is really interesting. I remember this from all the previous Battlefield games or the last couple ones I played, where you can earn different ribbons they're like medals but easier to get and kind of better to collect they look a lot different and just gives you more stuff to accomplish and that's what this game needs i've been saying it for a very long time it needs a lot more stuff to unlock and keep you kind of going you need some kind of like addictive factor to the game like more levels all that stuff and once you lose that you you need um without like a rank or competitive playlist you need stuff to unlock kind of like call of duty you need stuff to prestige to keep yourself interested in the game so this is huge ribbons is a huge addition, major plus for them, kudos to them. Then they're adding elite codices, or I think it's supposed to be codex, or yeah, I guess codis is, is the plural of codex. And technically, with a word like this, I think you can say codexes. It's like a weird time when it's it, you can actually do that. Um, but, you know, I'm not an English major, so I'm not going to get into that. But you can unlock these elite codexes for 500 kills per weapon all you need to do is get 500 more kills per weapon and you get a shiny elite codex but you also be awarded 25,000 bonus xp so that's pretty sweet 
extra thing like that, there's an increased max class rank. So now each class will have a max rank of 50. So people have a lot more stuff to work towards, unlock stuff, and you'll get extra flair. And I'm sure they'll add some more bonuses down the line for getting to those points. So people that are like power players have a lot more stuff to look forward to or, or a higher goal to reach, which is nice. And then everything past here is just game additions. They're going to be doing some edits and patches to a lot of the game, the guns, all this stuff. Um, I read something that they're going to be kind of changing up the support class things again, a little bit of a nerf with like some of the weapons and stuff like that, which a lot of people are like, hey, support class is already struggling a little bit. Um, but I guess they're trying to figure out a lot of the recoil, which some of those guns don't have a lot of recoil for being a heavy machine gun, so it makes sense. But that class still needs a little bit of love in some other areas. And you can see here there's like a millions of bug fixes. So they're just patching the game here, doing a lot of nice stuff. Um, weapons, not going to get into that. You guys can read through all this stuff if you really want to the individual things it would take forever to read all through all this but basically look they're they're coming to the game with all these changes and everybody can test them out and give their feedback which is amazing and right here i'll just read some of the gameplay stuff because this to me is more um high level instead of getting to the nitty-gritty of like changing the recoil from like one percent to three percent it gets into the nitty-gritty so the gameplay updates here are fixed errors where elite kits had unintentionally high regeneration delays. I noticed this because when I get into a uh, elite kit, I never regenerate health. So I don't know if that's in, it's a difference between console and PC, but I never regenerate health in the elite kit. So it, it might have been a, uh, a error here or a glitch. So it looks like they're fixing that. They improved calorie victim experience. You should no longer Calvary elite. Cal wow, I can't say that word right now. Cav cavalry. Caval the Cavaliers. <laughs> Tongue twister right there. So basically what they're fixing is you should no longer experience getting killed by the cavalry using a saber from multiple meters away. And if you've been playing Battlefield, this definitely happens all the time. I'll get killed or I'll ki – usually it's me getting – doing the killing on the on the horse where i'm like that shouldn't have counted where i'm running by someone like a mile away or i actually go on the wrong side of them and i kill them anyways which to me isn't a bad glitch because it's really hard to use the horse anyways so like it, it should have a pretty high hitbox in my opinion but i guess if that's a fix it's a fix it works helps they increased the threshold for suppression effects to prevent suppression from occurring too early to me this doesn't happen too often i use the heavy machine gun a lot so not necessary reduce gas duration from 22 to 15 seconds again not that necessary in my opinion because everybody has a gas mask but hey if that's what they've been testing well this will this will all be tested i guess first technically unless this is a patch update it's kind of hard to say what's what's strictly a patch update and what's going to be tested i guess for the most part most of the stuff will get tested we'll see they tweak suppression effects and low health visuals they fixed a visual a VO issue in Rush where defenders have interacted with Telegraph to send enemy coordinates, controls, and fixed a PC custom key binding. I don't play PC, so there you go. For the behemoths. So anyways, that is the latest on the Battlefield patch front. Kind of pun intended. And this is the deal with the community test environment. I'm definitely going to be signing up for this. Who knows when it's going to hit console and whatnot but if i get in if i can play i'll be posting some cte beta videos and also always some more battlefield content because this is the main game that i'm playing right now in the end of 2016 and for 2017 which we are in now so as always thank you all for watching if you haven't seen them yet go check out some other battlefield videos and as always i'm blitz5 and peace out